And we begin in Turkey, where US and Iraqi officials are again urging that country to exercise restraint after Kurdish separatists struck with deadly force inside Turkey. Now, the attack on Sunday sparked fighting along Turkey's border with Iraq. At least 17 Turkish soldiers were killed and 16 more wounded in an ambush blame on Kurdish PKK rebels. Ten Turkish soldiers are reportedly missing. In fighting uh, launched after the ambush, Turkey reportedly killed 32 rebels. Well, that attack put new urgency behind Iraqi and U.S. efforts to prevent a major Turkish incursion into Iraq. In response, Ankara is demanding that both nations take stronger actions against the PKK. And Turkish anger is growing after Sunday's violence, which included an attack on a wedding party. Nick Robertson reports. The PKK apparently targeting Turkish civilians. Just hours before an explosion ripped through a civilian bus, part of a wedding convoy injuring 12 people, Turkish troops were the target. So serious the attacks, Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan called crisis meetings. Across the border in Iraq, Kurdish leaders called for restraint, but vowed to respond if attacked. We will not be a part of any such conflict, but if we are targeted directly, we will defend ourselves. Iraq's president, Jalal Talabani, who is also a Kurd, urged dialogue, but had a warning for the PKK. We called on the PKK to lay down arms and to resort to political, popular, parliamentary and PR efforts. Therefore, we're opposed to military action and we will not take their side. A message echoed by Barzani, who threatened to up the ante further and condemn the PKK as terrorists, as the US and the European Union have already done, if they don't disarm following peaceful efforts by Turkey. <laughs> In the past few days, Kurdish officials have mobilized mass demonstrations to protest Turkey's decision to authorize its army to cross the border and hunt down the PKK. And although the mood has been for dialogue with Turkey, not fighting, there is a very real undercurrent of concern that their safe and relatively stable lives in the north are under threat. The latest PKK attacks will only fuel those fears that Turkey could send troops across the border. A huge worry for the United States as any escalation in tensions could throw the only peaceful part of Iraq into turmoil. Nick Robertson, CNN, Baghdad. Well, the attack prompted a meeting between the U.S. and Turkish defense ministers at a regional defense summit in Ukraine. Afterwards, it appeared that Turkey is prepared to wait before deciding to send troops into Iraq. Our senior Pentagon correspondent, Jamie McIntyre, reports from Kiev. It was all smiles and handshakes for the cameras as U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates sat down for tense talks with his Turkish counterpart, at a meeting of southeastern European defense ministers in Ukraine's capital, Kiev. Gates ended the glad handing with a simple, now to work. After 30 minutes behind closed doors, the Turkish defense minister emerged to say his country would like to see tangible action before it calls off a planned incursion into northern Iraq. But he insisted nothing is imminent and that Turkey wants to work with the U.S. N not urgently. They are planning. They are planning, planning. Uh, to, uh, planning uh, to cross border uh, because, firstly, uh, the intelligence is important. They get in enough information and, and we like to do these things with Americans. I told him that uh, restraint should not be confused with weakness. In the meeting, Gates stressed the U.S. position that while it agrees the PKK is a terrorist group and a real threat, moving into northern Iraq, especially without actionable intelligence, will only make things worse. I thought that a, a major cross-border operation uh, would be contrary to Turkey's interests as well as to our own and that of, uh, of Iraq, uh, those in, uh, the interests of Iraq. I told them that um, we should work together on this, uh, that we were uh, very mindful of the reality of the PKK terrorist threat. Gates argued that sending a large number of Turkish troops into northern Iraq would be a prescription for disaster, and both sides agreed to do more to identify solid targets. 
but the U.S. stopped short of promising to take any military action inside Iraq. Gates made four main arguments to his Turkish counterpart. A cross-border attack will not solve the PKK problem. It will kill a lot of people. It will undermine U.S. efforts in Iraq, and it will undercut the Bush administration's efforts to kill the Armenian genocide resolution in the U.S. Congress that has the Turkish government so upset. Jamie McIntyre, CNN, Kiev, Ukraine.